Hi, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig here on a little bit of a windy and chilly afternoon in Colorado. What's even colder are the nights. Luckily, Mountain Hardware has me covered with the Phantom 15 down sleeping bag. Now you can see I have it draped over the Mountain Hardware Aspect 3 tent that I've also reviewed. So if you're interested, please be sure to check out that review. This sleep bag is packed with a lot of great features. To start with, you can really customize this. And what I mean by that is you can get it in short, regular, or long. Now, personally, I have it in the regular size. I am right at six feet, and that's pretty much the top of the spectrum for the regular size sleeping bag. And I personally fit great in this bag. I don't find that it's a little short or anything. It really fits me well. Also, you can choose between a left and right zip on the sleeping bag. Like I said in the beginning, this is 850 fill goose down. Now, Mountain Hardware has done their part and it is responsibly sourced, which is always nice. I like goose down for a couple different reasons. You really can't beat the weight to warmth ratio as well as how compressible it is. This bag comes in at two pounds, 1.2 ounces. So really on any adventure that I would find myself going on, I feel like this would be the perfect bag for it. If I need to go lightweight, I can easily do it. And if I'm on the motorcycle and it doesn't need to be lightweight, it's compressible because I always need space on the motorcycle. Also the 15 degree I find is a great temperature for me. If I'm camping in colder weather, I can always layer up. And if I get warm, I can easily undo the zipper and get some airflow through the bag. You can see that this is obviously a mummy bag and those are made to really fit the contour of your body. I found that the toe box and the foot box of this bag lends itself with plenty of room. So if I'm on my stomach sleeping, I can kind of sprawl my feet out if you know what I mean. And I've got all the room in the foot box to allow for that. Also, if I'm on my back, my feet are kind of pointed out to the side. Again, I do have plenty of room in the foot box. One area that I feel like I could use just a little bit more room is up here in the very top of the bag, kind of in the chest and in the shoulder area. When I get in and I zip the bag all the way up, I find that it's just a little bit snug in my shoulders. Now I have about a 44, 45 inch chest and with this particular bag, it's a little bit snug. It's not a make or break case for me. It is, however, a little bit tighter than other bags I've been in. Again, not make or break. I can easily sleep in it. Just something that I did notice. Up at the top of the bag, where you can stick your head at night, you have a lot of nice baffling to really hold that heat in and prevent any drafts. You can see really nice large baffle tube here as well as one here. And when you get your head in there, you can easily cinch this down and really get a nice tight fit so the only thing sticking out is your nose. Before you cinch yourself into this bag and get to the point where you can't get out, you may wanna just check yourself out on this piece of cord here because once you tighten it down, the way that you get it undone is that you actually just kinda of pinch the outside of the bag and when you do that, you're actually pinching the internal piece of plastic that's in there that cinches that all down. Now, if you didn't know that, you could trap yourself inside this bag and that just wouldn't be fun for anyone in the group. Going along the zipper here, you do also have nice baffling that runs along the entire side of the bag, again, to reduce those drafts and keep you warm at night. Along the zipper, they've also incorporated a different material than the rest of the bag is made out of. And this is actually just a little bit tougher. What I found with that and why it's nice is that it's easy to zip the bag up and zip the bag down without getting it snagged. If you've had these bags in the past, maybe you know what I'm talking about. It's easy to snag these zippers on this really lightweight nylon material. One thing with down is that when it gets wet, it loses its loft and loses its warmth capability. Mountain Hardware has coated the outside of this bag in a DWR durable water repellent so that if you do get this wet, the water will shed right off the bag and it won't soak into that down. Now, this isn't something that maybe you wanna sleep right in the snow with or take into a rainstorm. However, if you're transferring from your pack into the tent or anything like that, and it happens to get a little wet, that DWR coating is gonna keep the internals of this bag dry. Again, this is made by Mountain Hardware. It is the Phantom 15. If you find that you like this bag, but maybe you want it in a different temperature rating, check them out on their website because they do come in a 30 as well as a zero. When you're not using this bag, Mountain Hardware also has you covered with the provided storage sack. 
right here. You can see that it does consist of some mesh paneling to help keep airflow into that bag. It's also really big so that the bag is not compressed the whole time. When you are using the bag, again, they have you covered because they have included a compression sack for the bag. When you stuff it in here and cinch it down, this actually gets it down to about seven inches by 15 inches, creating a lot of room in your pack. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. If you guys like the video, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. We would appreciate it. If you're wondering where we are or what we're up to, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Adventure Rig. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.